All right, after I made the spoon last week, I found another video and a, a guy had made a jig that looked much better than the one I was using, so I'm gonna make, make one today. And uh, it worked out uh, great. A lot better than uh, what I was trying to do. All right, so I'm gonna use a hose clamp, big hose clamp for it, and I'm gonna put it about, about right in there and then countersink this back in to about right there so it's it's up as far as it can so i'm going to put a little bit of a ring there and then bring the diameter down a little bit on the on the back side of it and that's all i'm going to do and then i'm going to cup out the inside and then we'll take it over the bandsaw Just take the parting tool, grab the right tool. here all right and then I'm just gonna go every inch it looked like uh, from the video I saw the guy had done done every every inch around there so I'm just gonna go with that and, and take one of them out
All right, okay, I know it's not the prettiest <laughs> prettiest thing, but it does work. And uh, I went ahead and oiled all the, the slots down here because I when I tightened it up, uh, when it was dry, it was like pop, 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 pop. So I put oil down here and I think I'm just gonna soak the whole thing for a day or so and, and maybe do that every once in a while to keep it, keep it uh, uh, lubricated on the inside of these little slots but all I do is pop it in there tighten this down and it, it crimps right around them and it's in there and it's not going anywhere so I think this is better than what I was trying to do and just remember uh, I think a Andy mentioned too don't forget to use in grain don't uh, don't uh, take a cross grain piece because it won't it won't clamp nearly as well as this it the fibers will pull in on this and and not break on you and you really don't know about the cross grain and how it's going to work so just remember that um, a couple other people some really good tips was uh, maybe maybe make the hole just a little bit bigger and use the non-skid uh, shelf paper or the shelf uh, liner which uh, was a great idea and I think somebody else you know if it's a little bit loose somebody said they just put a little dab of hot glue on the on the bottom back there and and Stick it on and then when it's done it'll it'll pop right pop right off but there we go and so I'll give it another try with a fresh spoon here soon all right there we go and I think this uh, maybe take a little bit more material out of uh, in between the slots it might might uh, grip a little bit better but definitely use in grain on it and I'm going to soak this in some wax and oil and, and trying to get all the it, little slots uh, lubed up so when you tighten it down it just slides nice and nice and easy but uh, I think that's a great way to hold the spoons and I know it's not pretty but <laughs> uh, it works very well thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe